on the front lines of the looming trade war. The Prime Minister offered what reassurances he could to the workers who are trapped in a cycle of uncertainty. We will continue to pull out all the stops to get the best possible results for Canadians and their families. We had your backs last week, and we always will. Justin Trudeau is taking that sentiment to aluminum and steel factories across the country. But his message may not resonate unless the temporary exemption from new American tariffs on both metals becomes permanent. Trudeau called Donald Trump today to discuss the issue. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau joins us. And on U.S. cable news, he made a broader pitch for American support while pledging to crack down further on cheap Chinese steel that undermines U.S. producers. So we've put in very strong measures, some of the strongest in the world, uh, against, uh, against dumping. But as I said to the president, as I said to congressional leadership, I'm happy to work uh, with the United States to go even further with them. But Trudeau will not go any further with Trump's suggestion tariffs should be linked to NAFTA talks. Canada's brutal. Canada's really tough. Over the weekend, Trump repeated his threat to hit Canada and Mexico with those levies unless they agree to his NAFTA demands. The president wants to try to get any advantage he can. He's trying to get the attention of our trading partners. And I think he's succeeded at getting people's attention. Trump certainly has the attention of the world, but there are warnings he must tread carefully. The risk, of course, is that he goes too far and really triggers uh, a trade war or a retaliation um, sequence of events that he can't put back. Canada has not made public threats of retaliation yet, but Trudeau hinted that may change, suggesting the government is considering its next moves. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa. Now, of course, much has been said about how Trump's chief target is China. The way Trump tells it, the U.S. is drowning in Chinese steel. But is there much truth to that? We can't continue to allow China to rape our country. The president has long blasted China, the world's biggest steel producer, for running U.S. manufacturers out of business. We're going to bring back our jobs. His tough talk on tariffs goes as far back as 2011, specifically challenging China. Listen, you mother we're going to tax you 25 percent. But China's Iron and Steel Association says the new duties would have little impact. Why? More than 90 percent of steel from China is already subject to special tariffs. So the country has shipped less and less steel to the U.S. in recent years. Now they account for only about 2 percent of U.S. steel imports, which is far behind traditional U.S. allies like Canada, Brazil and South Korea. And we're going to be instituting tariffs. Trump's tough talk seems to have risked damaging valuable trade relationships. What it likely won't hurt, the intended target, China's steel industry.